Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to JTG Aquatics. Today we are going to um, just make a video. Sorry, it's been a while. I haven't uploaded, been really busy with moving and stuff down to Texas. Um, but today's video, I got five brand new fish for three are going to go into 10 gallon to grow out. And they're three koi angel fish that are babies. So they're going to go into 10 gallon and get grown out and then move into 36. And then I got two common plecos one for the 10 and one for the 36 eventually the one in the 10 will go in 36 but uh i'm gonna show you guys those right now all right y'all so i have the three coal angel fish right here acclimating they've been acclimating for about maybe 30 minutes so i'm gonna give them another like 20 and then we're gonna treat them for ick in that gallon tank for about an hour or two and then we're gonna treat these guys too for like an hour and then we'll move them into here but so, I did get a couple new things for this tank. One, as you notice, there's a different filter. And the heater's missing. The heater is buried down there. And I also got a 75-gallon canister filter, which I should have made a video yesterday. That thing, I op tried to open it, and that thing burst through water everywhere. So, I spent the entire day trying to clean that up and redid the tank. Um, we're going to be adding another light to this tank to make it look brighter. Um, I got a new light for this because this is too bright and we had a really bad algae issue. I had to destroy the entire tank and it's really cloudy. Um, but I did end up planting these things again. This is the new Aquascape. I also got a new beta because Bub died. He's right there if he'll come out. He's right there. He's got some red, some white, blue on him. He's a crown tail male. Here are the common plecos. Here's two of them. This is the angelfish. One of the angelfish did die, Snappy. So rep, rest in peace, Snappy. Um, got that guy, the Jack Dempsey's back there, just chilling. Got the teeth tetras. I put the tetra, put the beta fish in here, and the tetras ate the shit out of them. Excuse my language. But we're gonna get a new light for this. It comes in tomorrow, so I'll make a video on that. But we're gonna get into setting that up. For them to be able to be medicated for ick so i will get right into that all right y'all excuse the mess in the back it's my sister's side i just cleaned up my side i got a cleaning but i decided to make a real quick video so let me just get cleaning real quick throw this in here but i'm um, gonna show you guys how to get this thing nice and cleaned up for a medication so yes, it's got water from my other medication, so I've got to clean it. So we're going to go into the bathroom and clean it up. But first, I need to find... Well, here, I'll show you guys what you need to medicate fish. What we're going to be doing is medicating him for ick. Um, so we're going to get some water conditioner, ick treatment. Well, no, I'm going to use some old fish water. i got to water change this anyways for a minute. So we got API, super ick cure. So I'm going to stick that in my pocket, and then we're going to carry this to the bathroom. We're going to need a sponge. If I can find my sponge. Oh, wait. I know why I did it. That's all my old shit. Sponge and toothbrush. So we're going to put that in there. Throw this in my pocket, too, because that's how I carry things when I'm filming. And then we're going to carry this to the restroom to clean it and then we're going to take out old fish water out of the tank to go ahead and cure him so i am going to flip my camera around so i'm filming this will flip to the front side camera so i will be back all right y'all um we're back let go ahead and set you guys up right about there so, all right so we're gonna go ahead and take out the sponge Ooh, this water's cold so yeah we're gonna grab this sponge just pour some cold water in here to clean with and then we're gonna go ahead and just scrub the sides gently just to get all that old water residue off make it look good and i might set this up as another beta tank on my desk i don't know what you guys want me to do with it so comment down below what you guys want me to do with this right now it's my hospital tank for if any fish are sick and i gotta take them to them so whenever i buy fish from like pet supplies stuff like that and that's how they cure 
This is what I use to cure them for egg for a day. You also get some glasses scrubbed with this. Alright, so that's that. Dump this water. Run it down to the side. And boom, it's clean. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to take it back. I'm going to get some paper towels to dry it, and then we'll take it back to... We'll take it to my desk and set it up to put it to Hey y'all, so I got my towel. I don't know why I'm recording this, but I'm gonna go ahead and dry it and then I'll show you guys how to set this up. Just keep it nice little dry on the outside so it doesn't get my desk all wet. This is where I'm gonna edit my videos. I need to start making more videos. Just let me know what you guys wanna see. I'm also going to stick some paper towels underneath it so that it doesn't destroy my desk. Alright, so what we're going to do is grab a gallon of fish water. So I'll be back when I have the game. Alright, y'all, so we have our one gallon of water right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this dick treatment and I'll sit down for this so I can record this. So what we're going to do is read and it says add 15 drops for one gallon, U.S. gallons. So, we're going to add 15 drops into this. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and I'm going to do 16 just in case. And then, mix it. and we pour. And so they don't go crazy, since they have no water flow and it'll keep it mixed. I'm gonna add a little mini filter into it. So I got this little filter that goes onto this tank right here. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this behind my desk so I can plug her in. And boom, we have flow. So now we're gonna go ahead and take these angelfish. We're gonna drop the angelfish in here for about 30 minutes to an hour. So I will get back to you Get Well, here, I'll show you guys just me dropping them in real quick. So here. Oh, 
and ick treatments. All right, so. So there we have our angelfish. So I will get back to you guys in 30 minutes when they're done curing. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna put the angelfish in the 10 gallon now. Um, so we'll get a recording of that. I'm gonna prop you guys up right here. There you guys go, you guys can see my little nano tank. Alright guys, so now we're going to go ahead and put the glass canopy back on. Um, they're doing great right now, so that will be good for quite some time. Hopefully the new light will make a difference in this house. I mean, not this house, this tank. I still got to figure out why it's so cloudy. But we're trying to figure out that, maybe something with the chemistry. I got to test the water soon, so... I'm going to clean off the glass a little bit and make it look good. Hopefully it'll clear up with this filter. I don't know what was wrong with that last filter. It was probably shit. So, yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and treat the plecos for ick. Well, I'm going to look at them. Well, they can go right in. They don't look, it looks like they don't have any ick. So one of them's going to go in a 10 gallon if it's enough space. Um, the other one's going to go in 36. So... I'm going to put the plecos in, and I'll get back to you guys when I do that. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Um, So, plecos and stuff are in there. Angelfish are in there. They're doing good for now. They're just really stressed out, so they'll come out later. So, I'll probably catch a clip and clip it at the end of the video of them. But, um, just comment down below, because what you want to see with this little one-and-a-half-gallon fish tank. Um, do whatever you guys want me to do with it, and... It'll go right on my desk where I work, so just let me know what you guys want me to do with it. Um, comment that below. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. That's what I just wanted to show you guys, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.